Gentlemen, I think she's about to start a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dewdrop from Vancouver, British Columbia. One half of the women's tag team champions, Chin C. Green. Gentlemen, I think this one's gonna turn into a fight in a hurry and I cannot wait. She treats every match like a title defense. That's how she got to this point in her career. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! A true powerhouse in the ring, a third generation athlete, and wrestling royalty. Yeah. Natalia possesses all of the weapons. She's held singles and tag team gold, and she has the most wins in women's division history. She's a three time world record holder, and many more to come. Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here in WWE and seems to get better as time goes on. You can see that the champ looks a little relaxed going into this match, don't you think, guys? Well, the relief of not putting your title on the line certainly has to help, Mike. All I know is that with or without the title, full focus is needed on this match. Either way, there's no doubt the champ is ready for a fight. We have someone like Natalia, who always has large shoes to fill, coming from the well-respected Hart family. And think about the pressure of living up to that name. Yet Natalia does so with ease each and every time she steps foot in the ring. That's what makes her the butt. Making sure her opponent remembers who the better superstar is. Oh, close line! All right. Take it down to the canvas. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Explorer suplex. She goes for the quick pin. And there's a kick out at one. Trying to make short order of things there. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Corey Natalia has been a fixture of this women's division for such a long time. There's so much tape on her that it has to make her somewhat easier to scout. Any idea what she can do to possibly shake her opponent up here? Natalia is definitely a creature of habit, Cole, and you're absolutely right that that affects how her opponents scout her. I know it's not in her nature, but the biggest thing she could do here is to shake things up. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Oh, here it is, the abdominal stretch. Grabbing the ankle. She's fighting desperately. Hip tosses her way out of the hole. Lifting up their opponent. What's it so thunderous right hand? And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, shoulder to the gut. Producing a trampling. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, you power bomb. That might be it. That was a power bomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. She's beginning to flag a little. Looking to take flight here. From the top. The drop. Oh, the wind just knocked right out with that. Stomp to the arm. 
submission leg sweep. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. To the outside. This could get wild. Taking a moment to let her know who the real superstar is here. to the midsection, has the arm all tied up. Yeah. And six did, followed by a suplex. It could be over here! This is it! She gets the shoulder up. Obviously still has some fight left. Saxton. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? She needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. And gets tossed back into the mat. Time to flip it. Sing victory.
victory here. Getting it done the hard way. Putting your body on the line like that is a huge risk. This match could have gone very differently. But in the end, Corey, they are the ones celebrating.